this video we will discuss conveyor start and stop operation so what is the problem given in this example so we will see now when push button 1 is pressed then yellow light turns on and buzzer activate for 10 seconds if push button 1 is released then also light and buzzer remains on for the specified time duration which is 10 seconds okay next after yellow light turns off and buzzer stops then conveyor has to start automatically and move in forward direction during this time the green light must be turned on when the conveyor is running next when push button 2 is pressed then above two steps must stop okay so we will implement this simple logic conveyor start and stop as per the given procedure go to the software category d go to d5 conveyor start stop example click on it now the software is open minimize this instruction click here so in operation panel we have two push buttons we will take in this logic which is push button 1 address is x20 and push button 2 address is x21 we will use this push button 1 and push button 2 so before going to the logic just check the required inputs and outputs from the simulation we can see required addresses we need to move the conveyor in forward direction so the address is y1 similarly we need yellow lamp and green lamp the addresses are y7 and y6 and we need a buzzer the address is y3 so we will use these addresses inputs and outputs in our logic now go to the logic we need one input push button which is x20 take one envelope contact enter x20 ok we need to turn on the yellow lamp and a buzzer right so output coil instruction enter the yellow lamp address which is y7 click ok and we have to latch the yellow lamp because the yellow lamp must turn on for 10 seconds right our input x20 is a push button type input it will give only one single pulse so to turn on the output for certain time we have to take a latch take one branch with envelope contact enter the output address which is y7 now when my input is activated the output will be turned on due to latch the output will stay on even though input is removed okay we have to activate the buzzer also right take one vertical line vertical line okay select here take an output coil enter the address of buzzer which is y3 okay next we have to turn off this two outputs a low lamp and buzzer after 10 seconds so we need a timer to unlatch the both outputs y7 and y3 after 10 seconds right so select here insert vertical line ok select here take one output coil instruction take one timer say t0 space k and then the timer value we need 10 seconds so enter 100 if you need 5 seconds then enter 50 press ok now we have to insert the nc content of timer here so take one nc content nc content enter timer address which is t0 click ok timer is activated after 10 seconds delay then this nc content of t0 becomes open and this will act as unlatching instruction after 10 seconds both outputs will be turned off now as per logic after 10 seconds we have to turn on the conveyor in forward direction so we have to use the again timer status select here take on envelope contact enter t0 click ok again take one output coil 
connected to the conveyor address is y1 now we have to turn on the conveyor continuously until it is reset right so we have to latch the output y1 so select here take one branch instruction with no contact enter the output address which is y1 click ok now when my conveyor is on we have to turn on a green lamp the address is y6 so take one vertical line vertical line ok again select here take output coil instruction enter the address of green lamp which is y6 ok now we need to insert a reset push button whenever this push button is activated all outputs must be turned off right so we are using push button 2 which the address is x21 so we have to insert a nc contact of push button 2 then only whenever it is activated it will turn off all outputs so enter x21 ok repeat the same in second rung nc contact same address x21 as reset is common now program is completed click convert then write to plc it will download to the plc ok now the plc is in run mode so we will do the simulation so when i press push button 1 on operation panel the both output y7 y3 will be turned on and timer will be started after timer completes 10 seconds this t0 becomes open as this is open the both outputs will be turned off after timer this t0 becomes close so as this t0 becomes close the output y1 will be turned on nothing but conveyor will be started and latch is there it will be continuously turned on and green lamp also turns on conveyor will be stopped with a reset so now we will start the logic i am pressing on the push button see y7 and y3 are started timer is started when timer reaches 100 this will become open this will become close so both outputs will be off and these two outputs will be on continuously because of latch so if you want to stop all the outputs or reset all the outputs click push button 2 see all outputs are turned off again i am pressing the push button 1 you can see the status here in the simulation the buzzer is activated you can see small yellow color here and the yellow lamp also turns on after 10 seconds the green lamp is started and conveyor is started see the arrow direction as per our logic the conveyor is started automatically after 10 seconds right so i'm stopping the conveyor now see conveyor is stopped and uh, green lamp also stopped when reset input is activated this is our simple conveyor start and stop program I will meet you in the next session.